Well then. That's good to know. I cannot help the Rasalka at all. Why? Because I'm a paladin. Not not a paladin, I'm just a magic user. The paladin is the only one who can help Rasalka. Now let's see about this bush. If there's anything else that I can do with it. Apparently just needed to put it there and that's it. Okay. Nothing else need to be done with the bush. But it's good to know that I cannot help the Rosalka at all. So I don't need to waste time with her. Bummer. She's gonna stay there forever. Because I am not a paladin. Because... What's a paladin? That's good to know. Good to know. No need to waste time with her. So I just focus on the ghost. Baba Yaga. Other stuff. Nice touch. And also, this is a tomb that we need to open. Because I need to get in there, apparently. It is deathly, deathly silent beyond the door. Not deadly, deathly. You examine the door closely. It's massive and well made. A large lock secures the door. Above the door is an intricate crest with the single word Borgov above it. Door is securely locked that feels very solid. Unlock. You turn the large skeleton key in the crypt door. With a sound like a groaning of an undead spirit, the massive door yawns wide open. Because we did get the key. I just had forgotten that I should go in here. Yes, we did get the key. You're in a dark, dank crypt filled with the boss and boss relief figures of long departed knights and statues of the Green Reaper. Stairs lead back up to the entrance. A brightly colored copy of the Bargav crest adorns part of the floor. Cool fountain will be replaced with... Tomb Raider. That's pretty much what we are. Huh. Colors of the rainbow, a moon above the mountains, and Borgov. House of Borgov. Oh, I can press these. Okay. It's a finger of the Green Reaper, Harbinger of Death. At the base of the statue are the words, Greet the Reaper. I don't, I'm not sure if I want to greet the Reaper. Should I even greet the Reaper? You see a coffin cover bearing a bob relief uh, sculpture of a knight. Is it how do you pronounce actually that? Is it ba or bas or something else? You see a coffin cover bearing. The coffin cover is decorated with a bas relief uh, sculpture of a knight. Searching carefully, you see a small hole that looks like a keyhole in the sculpture. Although this coffin does look like a door, there is no response to your knock. Maybe just as well. You can hear faint and distant sounds behind this coffin, but can't make out any details. You can't get the coffin lid open. Examine it carefully, you find a small keyhole hidden in the boss relief. Da 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 da! No. Well, we have magic on our side. I could try that. There's a small grating on the floor for drainage. Anything in there? Apparently not. And this is nothing. That tomb. Such a cheery sight near the statue of the Green Reaper, Harbinger of Death. You see a coffin cover bearing the Ma Relief sculpture. And another knight. Your hand is very inviting. What if I greeted you? 
As you shake hands with the Grim Reaper statue, the door at the top of the stairs opens. You quickly make your escape from the deadly crypt. Oh. Hey there, Vayner Lane. And pa 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 pa, I got out. Coach, don't don't tell me, don't tell that that's true. That cannot be true. No. <sighs> it is true. Just went to see. Stan Lee has passed away. <sighs> Ninety-five years old, though. Ninety-five years old. <sighs> it was inevitable, you know. Such a legend. Such a legend. Hey there, Kunfutsu. I was so focused on munching my salad that I forgot to say. Uh, Excelsior. That's all I can say. Yeah, I'm looking at it. I just went to look at it. Stan Lee, Marvel Comics Godfather, dead at 95. Marvel Comics co-creator Stan Lee, dead at 95. Died today. Now the movies are gonna suck without these cameos. The cameos were the best. I recently watched... Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. And he had a cameo in that. To pay respects to Stan Lee's passing, everybody say Excelsior! That's, that's his catchphrase. Excelsior! And if you don't know how to spell it, E-X-C-E-L-S-I-O-R. Excelsior. Yep, Goblin. It is a sad day. He has passed away today. Rest in peace, Stan Lee. Born December 28, 1922. Died November 12, 2018. Excelsior. Man. Well, he's passing, and now I want to play Marvel games to honor his uh, legacy. Excelsior. <laughs> Excelsior. No, it should be Excelsior. That's how you pronounce it. That's how he said it. That's how he said it. Excelsior. Not the Excelsior. Stupid. But now I really want to play some Marvel games in honor of Stan Lee's passing. Just like I did with uh, Harlan Ellison. I played I Have No Mouth, But I Must Scream. Thanks for letting me know, Coach, because I am a big fun I am a big Marvel fan. So, just like uh, I didn't know about Stan Kirby passing away either. Somebody let me know. But that had been a couple of days already when... Wait a minute. What am I talking about? Did I say Stan Kirby? <sighs> oh, this hit me so hard that I can't remember names anymore. But well, you know. People. Dead. It happens. It's sad. But it happens. Oh. You know what I will do? How I will... How I will uh, celebrate the memory of Stan Lee. I'm gonna continue reading Spider-Man comics. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Just read Spider-Man comics. Not even watch YouTube or play any games. Just read the Spider-Man comics. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's see if the open spell will open this. The crypt open door lock yields to the power of your open spell. Hmm. 
Didn't even need to get the key from Igor. Just needed to do that. I wonder if I can trigger... Probably not. Let's see if our spell works on this, actually. Replace, replace. I just said out loud, uh, Stanley died. My wife heard Stanley died and almost panicked. Stanley is a giraffe in uh, California. She's been following Stanley on Instagram and worrying <laughs> if he's okay. Oh, bless your wife's heart. He lived a long, noble life. May his work live forever. I've not got the words. But those are good words enough. Those are good words enough, Jup. Because that's truly... Did live a long, noble life, and may his works live forever. Indeed. He influenced so many people throughout the years. A great man. Great man. Uh, open spell. Let's try it. Right to the crotch. Your spell should have opened the relief. It doesn't seem to have had any effect. There's apparently a stronger magic than yours holding the door. You'll need to find the key. Hmm. Let's find out. Is there truly magic? There is quite a bit of magical energy in this room. Magic emanates from the entrance door, the central green reaper statue, and the Borgov family crest on the floor near the stairway. Huh. So if I look at this more carefully... Some of the stones on this crest feel loose. You need to push them in the correct order to open a lock. I will be here forever un unless I find out the uh, order. I wonder where we're gonna find that. Probably in the castle if we would be able to get in there. Let's try the trigger. Is this the trigger? Yeah. Let's try the trigger on the Green Reaper. This is not a good place to practice your magic. Oh, I know. Just... My MSNBC notifications just told me of Stanley's death as well. Huh. Hi, Goonfutsu. Hi, Mr. G. Let's not break the high combo here. Uh, sad moments are good to be met with the humor. You know, so that people don't get the all sad. Let's have a little humor with the sadness and everybody will be happy about the memory of the person who passed away. Usually works. Uh... <laughs> Where can I go? What can I do? Who can I help? Answers would be nobody, nobody, and probably somebody. A little Huber always helps. Yeah, a little bit of Huber. If you don't have any Huber, you're not a human being. Get yourself some Huber. Little Huber, the no <laughs> me. Oh, Huber, and your small... <laughs> and your small talk. And funny jokes. <sighs> Play Marvel Spider-Man game in honor of Stan Lee. You mean the new game? The days are getting cooler and shorter. Winter is approaching. No, you mean winter is coming. Oh wait, this is not Game of Thrones. But if you mean the uh, new Spider-Man game, I don't have it. I don't have any consoles of today. Good to see you. Otherwise, I would play it. I, I have an intrigue towards the game. I've heard it's really good. I probably would enjoy it immensely because I am a big Spider-Man fan. Well, only has, has gaming systems of the yore. Yeah, the, the most recent, uh, recent console that I own is the Wii. And that's like 15 years ago. A 15-year-old Wii. Yeah. I haven't bought any consoles between, between today and that time. No PS3, no Xbox, no Xbox One, PS4, none of those things. Not even a Switch or a Wii U. 
None of that. No, actually... This would count. Handhold console. I bought this this year. Two and a half months ago. A Nintendo 3DS. So this is my newest console. <laughs> I just had to get this because I wanted the Animal Crossing uh, New Leaf. And this is the Animal Crossing New Leaf Edition. You can see at least the logo of Animal Crossing there, but it says Animal Crossing here. It has an Animal Crossing New Leaf uh, Welcome Amiibo pre-installed in it, and a 2G... a 2GB SSD card. At least you got one of the best consoles. I'm, I also bought uh, Link Between Worlds on it. And that's a pretty damn good game, although I'm... Right now I am stuck on that game, because I have no idea which temple I need to go to to progress the story. Probably the most powerful console you own. <laughs> I do have a PlayStation 2. It's right, right here. And I also have a GameCube. 3 yes, it reminds me of the old Game of Watch with the two screens. Yep. Pretty much the same kind of a deal. Except more powerful. I'm well, and I hope that you are also. I know only what legends tell of them. Undead which drink the blood of the living. We have always had stories of them here. I have never known anyone here to be haunted by a vampire. That we know of for certain. I think I've talked about all of this before. The town is quiet now, the rumors are few, except for the ones about you. Ooh. Everybody gets that ooh disease. Take care. That was blunt. Friendly, but blunt. James Blunt. Emily Blunt. Blunt object. Blunt weapon. Blunt, 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 blunt. Doobie. Yeah! You laser that gravestone. Love that sound effect. So wrong. Oh, is he got happy to know you? Not customer yet. Yeah, because I'm not dead. Let's talk to you. I've got one game of watch handheld, the one where Donald, Mickey, and Goofy are firemen. Still works. Awesome. Very damn awesome. Grave digging. Grave digging, not so bad. The customers not complain. Ah, oh, little gravy. Not too bad. Ah, oh, little gravy. We're right there. Igor come back to town after dark the other night. See strange pretty woman standing at Kenya. Yeah, you told me about this already. And you're in love. Uh, nobody knows where his body lies. Hmm. Okay. You had nothing new. Rest in peace! A uh, little grave humor there. Yeah, got it. I won't ditch my shovel for anyone. You dig me? I guess if you were a paladin, you would need that, so... Plot twist, people get the ooh disease if they've been bitten by a vampire. <gasps> so everybody's a vampire in the game. I got that one too, drove my parents mad with the constant beeping back in the ye old days. I actually had one of those, uh, you know, those old handheld game consoles, not even a console really, but it was a game. That had the uh, that has a screen on it and then a little bit of a joystick, like a like a mini arcade uh, machine, you could say. That had just one game in it, of course, but it was like not really sure what kind of a screen it had on it, but it was like a Game and Watch but with colors. And that that thing was noisy as shit. Even I couldn't play it with the sounds on. At least it had a button that you could turn the sounds on or off. Even I couldn't... It was a fun little game. I think it was some kind of a... Space Invaders type of a clone, I think. If I remember correctly. But it was so freaking loud that when you played it, it was like... Beep! I was like, oh, that's grinding my own ears, and my face is right up to it. It was a fun game to play, but goddamn was it noisy. 
always had to play it silent because if you turned it on, it was like 90 decibels sound. Doing okay, Yoshi? He's fine. There, now he's watching you. Okay, brain not working, too tired. I need help. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna be whispering in your ear as I look at this walkthrough. Just trying to find out tips. All kinds of tips. Do you like tips? And I'm not talking about the sexual kind of tips, I'm talking about, you know, money. Everybody would like a quarter here and there. Just for no reason. I'm just looking up here. If I need to go in there, which I highly doubt. I highly doubt. Oh, so I just need to visit the ghost uh, over and over on shield until she is convinced that she is a ghost. That is still hitting the posts. So that's all we need to do. We just need to convince the ghost that she is a ghost. Then we can return her back. Bob Ross is relaxing the most, but you learn something from him. Bob Ross is actually being recommended on this bar on the left. Well, it's because of Bob Ross. I really must do something productive. See you guys later, maybe in a few minutes. See you later. Bob Ross is relaxing, I must admit, but he's talking, explaining stuff while painting, so I can understand that. Yep. But I think this is the this little guy here is the reason why Bob Ross would be recommended on the uh, side bar. I mean, he is after. After all, he is named after Bob Ross. Just add an L. And you get Blob. Oh, right. Can we visit the castle gate and go talk to the man over there? Maybe he has some, some new information for us. Drum roll. Why did I get drum roll? I still remember how Personal Nightmare was a nightmare. I'm sure it was, because I will never be playing those games. If there's one... If there is a company whose games I will never, ever, ever play on my stream, those would be the horror soft games. Waxworks, Personal Nightmare, Elvira, Elvira 2. Welcome again to the gates of the castle Borgov. I hope that you have been enjoying your visit to Mordavia. I don't know. So far so good. I'm happy to know you are finding your way in Mordavia. I'm sure you will find this a most exciting place to visit. Uh, mm. You have been very lucky so far in Mordavia. That you never meet something you cannot handle. Oh, trust me, I have. I have. Ah. So what's your name? I'm Boris Dovich. How about opening the gate? I'm very sorry, but I can only open this gate by the command of the master. I think I can agree with excluding those lines up titles. Happy little accident, a splash of cyan should make that spot look cherry. Are you getting me the drum roll because of all right? Small trivia by random, Bob Ross actually appears in one Leisure Suit Larry game. Which one? Not exactly, but more as a as parody joke, of course. Must be five or six. Either one, I think. Why he reminds me of a thinner version of Barnabas Collins? I do not know who this man is, this Barnabas Collins. The master seldom leaves the castle and has few guests. Katrina? 
I do not know if anyone at the castle is named Katarina. My house is just inside the gates, and I seldom see anyone from the castle. Castle? Since the last boyar passed away many years ago, the castle has been uninhabited until recently. Now it is owned by the master, who is also my employer. It is not a bad job. I am paid well and on time. Good for you. Be careful in your travels. You never know what you may meet. True. Like a creepy guy like you. Good luck and may your feet move faster than the thing that chases you. Ah, that's creepy at all. Saying that. Not creepy at all. So pretty much right now we can just waste time. Because I need to wait until night time to go and talk to the ghost. He's from Dark Shadows, and he used to be a vampire, an old horror TV show. Oh, that show. That they made an awful movie about. Starring Johnny Depp, of course, because it's Tim Burton. The Master would not approve. I'll get your uh, luggage. There is no way out of here. It'll be dark soon. There is no way out of here. Don't you agree, Gabriel, that the Torgo's theme tune is the grand uh, mother of all classical tones in the world? What I've heard, Specky, you should not see that Dark Shadows movie at all because it has nothing apparently nothing to do with the TV show they just completely ruined it it has it is completely different from the TV show the only thing that they took was the name the characters and that's it they mostly come at night mostly actually wrong now Bob Ross shows up in Larry 7 as Bob bit He's building stuff about dice in one room, and of course you would ruin his hard work. That's Bob Ross? Is it making the dice pyramid? Oh yeah, now that I remember the narrator actually... Yeah, the narrator actually talking about it. And how he says something. He makes a joke about the happy accident part as well. When you ruin it. I need to play Love for, Love for Sale again on my own. I really like Larry Seven, actually, the Love for Sale game. It's a, it's a really good game. I've always enjoyed it uh, the most out of all the uh, Leisure Suit Larry games. I have made substantial progress with my Frankie since you were last, your last visit. With the mess recalibrated, I was able to focus the initial stimulation and have achieved the first traces of independent muscular coordination. See for yourself! Aye. It is not often that ordinary people such as yourself have the opportunity to witness a true genius! I expect that you are feeling especially honored just now. <laughs> Let me you made him wave. I mean, you can do that with a frog, just make their limbs shake as you give him a zap. Uh. I trust you have made some valuable scientific discoveries since your last visit. You regale the doctor with your tales of you know, for your ex exploits in Tarna. Not exploits, exploits. That sounds like a truly awful land. Primitive conditions, almost no science. That up I think a rave Salim sounds like someone I should meet though. Maybe. You might like it. Just puff puff. Give. You know the rule. 
So. What's happening? All my attention lately has gone into reaminating that Frankie. It will be a great scientific accomplishment when I succeed. When we have learned that to take a scientific approach to everything in life, we will be well on the way to understanding ourselves. So, got any healing potions? Here you are, one freshly brewed healing drink. Oh! <laughs> ask Dr. Crane if you can spare an empty flask for a specimen collection. Of course, of course, I'm always delighted to assist scientific research of any kind. And I have plenty of flasks. You may have this one. What is it here? Here you are, one freshly brewed in, in universal antidote. Stop. Thanks. English, it's a language. Experiments are the meat and drink of science. So, Frankie. I named Frankie after one of my colleagues who did some preliminary research into tissue reanimation. My success in this experiment will make me one of the premier researchers at this year's scientific ball. Cool. What about the mass? The mass is in my patented magnetic electrical stipulation system. With it, I am able to re-establish neuron paths through formerly dead tissue. It is also... Um, can be a good companion on those lonely Friday nights in the lab. Enough already! Um, I think that's enough already. Bye! Remember to use your powers of observation at all times. Actually, this is good advice for a hero. Bye! I'm looking forward to a successful completion of my Frankie experiment. My first attempt was with a bush I dug up in the forest garden. The operation was a great success. Unfortunately, the patient died. I hope to correct that minor difficulty in my new experiment. Yeah. Plants are pretty easy to die with the electricity, yeah. Since I have no connection with that show, I never got the reaction to the movie. Come to think of it, that movie didn't give me much of a reaction at all. In fact, how did that whole movie go? For the life of me, I can't recall I see clearly. Yeah, that's another thing. Even if you weren't a fan of the uh, show at all, the movie is just bad. That's what I've heard. I haven't seen the movie at all myself, and I don't intend to see it. I have seen a review of it, and they trashed that movie. They bashed it into bits. I mean, it's uh, like in one of the worst Tim Burton uh, Johnny Depp movie ever made. What did he say? I missed it. Uh, what? Which part are we talking about here, Goblin? Save, 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 save. What to do next? Actually, that's a good save name. The creepy bit that freaked me out. Um, he was talking about using the mess, you know, the uh, lightning rod on the lonely Friday nights in the lab. I do not want to know more. That was, that was enough information for me. Then he uses it as a companion on those lonely Friday nights in the lab. That's all we hear. That's all we needed to know. If you want an interesting... Uh, Ed Wood is a great movie. Ed Wood is a great movie. I have seen it many times. It's one of their best works. Highly recommended it for everybody. Just like, uh, well, Specky would know because he has uh, seen uh, Kilogor mention that many times. Geez, our little science friend likes to be anally electrocuted. I don't want to know where he electrocutes himself. That's his business, not ours to find out. You should see Ed Wood. It's a really good biography of the man.
Ah, oh, there's the you want to play her, play about the Speaking of biography, I wouldn't mind seeing Bohemia Rhapsody. I intend, I intend to watch that at, at some point, at least. Because I like Queen. Love their music. So it will be interesting to see that movie. Now, where am I? I have no idea. No, zero. See, I have no idea where I went. Where am I? Oh, I think now I know. Looking at the map. Aura has evaporated. Oh dear. No. Wait, what? No, I went past Leshy. That's what I did. Right, right, right. Now I know where I am. Took me a while to find myself on the map. Maybe after 50 years or so, Uwe Ball gets his own biography movie too. Probably. I really hope not though. Somebody might make it. You never know. Greatest douchebag and tax evader of all time. That's pretty much what the Uwe Ball is. Is he still making video game movies? I don't know. Probably stopped it because he has earned so many millions out of them already. They were direct to video and most were played on TV ch channels. Yep. Yeah, he did want to make a Warcraft movie. Yeah, he did. But then we got an official Warcraft movie from Better Productions. And all I I have not seen the Warcraft movie and all I have heard is that it's okay. Hardcore fans of course didn't like it because they got some, most of the lore incorrect. But otherwise it's just an okay movie. So I haven't seen it. Divern let us take care of you. Bring it on. Ow. Ow. Will you cast the freaking spell already? Jeez. I heard Blizzard blasted him for asking, yep. I think that was overall the same thing now with the movie. Warcraft movie is worth watching once. That is, Blizzard said no to him and actually got somebody talented. I find it okay, Flick, still. I don't play Warcraft, of course, but liked it. Uh. I heard they gave him a nasty reply. Yeah, they did. That's what I heard, too. That they gave him a harsh no. In many words, but um, it could have been just a big letter that had just N O on it. And at the bottom, yours truly, Blizzard Entertainment. Because at that point, people knew about Uwe Ball and about this bullshit. Then his movies are nothing but crap. There's only one Uwe Ball movie that I legitimately actually enjoyed. Knowing that it was an Uwe Ball movie and it had nothing to do with uh, video games. But otherwise, all of his movies are just crap. <laughs> Fuck off. F wishing the worst, Blizzard. <laughs> Sounds like the kind of a thing that they would have sent him.
It was something along the lines, definitely not you. That's appropriate. So this is where the ghost appears. Oops, don't click outside the game window, please. Good boy. Well, our stamina is back up. Eagle friend, where are you? Ah, over there. Have you watched Uwe Ball's rent video that he put up on YouTube? It's hilarious. Of course I have not watched it because I don't give a fuck about the Uwe Ball. Yeah, you heard me. I said fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I got yours. It's my stream. He's a childish bastard, totally unprofessional. What gave that away, his attitude? I mean, if somebody said bad things about him, he would have... Tell them to come to a boxing match where he beats them up. Yeah, not ne totally professional. Only thing that I was having perhaps some more moment of disbelief with Warcraft was seeing orcs on horses. Such massive muscle masses was thinking that the horse's spines break probably so. <laughs> I don't remember them having that many horses in the games but then again everybody walked uh, but uh, later on of course in world of warcraft they could have all kinds of mounts even horses i mean if you get enough uh, reputation with like uh, the uh, undeads in the game if you were an orc you could get the uh, undead horse mount. Stop dodging and die! That was one dodgy bunny. Ah. Night is arriving. Yeah, maybe they're strong horses. Accidentally pressed a stream off. Anyway, it's a bit the art style again. He basically calls himself the greatest director in the world and everyone else stupid pieces of shit assholes who, who only ostracize him because they're jealous of his talent, yep. Yep. Now the call wow, the horses are absolutely massive in ways, so muscular. Well, the undead horse is a magical undead horse. So, doesn't have any muscles. It's just magical. So everybody can, everybody can ride it, even Torrents. I think I did get my orc warlock, or one of my orc characters, eventually high enough uh, with uh, with affinity with the undead, so I could get the uh, horse mount for him. But then again, the warlocks also had the summon summoning spell to get a uh, horse to ride on. And it's a demonic nightmare horse that they ride on. <sighs> if you're interested in that video, you should watch Cute Fuzzy Weasel's mockery rebuttal of it. Made it for his Feeding the Trolls series. So, let's uh, just talk to her then. Where did you go? Why did you leave me here alone? 
Tell about the ghost. No, no, it can't be. No. The ghostly apparition vanishes. Well, judging from the da -da -da -da, now when she knows that she is a ghost. I remember now. I was walking home. Something started to chase me. I tried to run. Something knocked me over and everything went black. I'm dead, aren't I? I really can't go home again. I'm just a ghost. Well, maybe we can fix that in some ways. Forgive me my manners. It's just that I'm not used to the idea that I am dead. So what's your name? My name is... was... Anna. I can remember things now, but everything is like a faded dream. It seems so strange to think of myself as a ghost. Everything is blurry. There is no day or night, only this shadowy landscape. I want to go from here, but I cannot leave. I can only wait. I can remember my house now. I li lived beside the tall oak tree near the center of town. Uh. I've been gone so long, my poor Nikolai. Goodbye and farewell. So I guess we could talk to Nikolai now and tell him about her. I think. Well, let's run up to town and... No, actually. I should run to Arena's garden. Arena's garden. No, man. No, man. No. Ray, please, the spider bar ran away from bats. And we have escaped from the baddies. Also, let's not forget what's Uwe Ball's conception of funny. House of the Dead funny edition. Yeah, funny. Full of fart jokes at least three times while during filming, Ball answers the phone, yep. At least that was better than Postal. Ugh, Postal was awful. Actually, have I seen Postal? No, actually, I haven't seen Postal. I was thinking of Far Cry. Let's have a dream again, shall we? You're in this weird and wonderful place once more. This time, you remember all the times you have been here before and despite the beauty, you are afraid. You listen for the voice. It calls out for you. You feel the darkness around you, and you remember dying. You are overwhelmed with terror, and you remember running away. Your lungs struggle in the agony of no air, and you remember screaming. I have no mouth, but yet I must scream. You are helpless and hopeless, and you remember the eternal loneliness. With all your remaining strength, you reach out to touch the voice. You awaken as the sun begins to rise. Anyone being aware that Uwe Ball invited the back then screw attack stuttering Craig and Hanson Tom to be part of the movie? And guess what? They cut from... They got cut from Final Film. Really? They had Craig and Tommy there, but they were cut out. Okay. Mm -hmm. 